What's up guys, it's Ryan from Ryan and Jamie Live. I'm trying something a little new today. I'm gonna do an installation guide on the latest product that we bought, the Lux Bidet Neo 120. The reason why I'm doing this is because right now it's COVID-19, terrible time, toilet paper shortage again, because people think that, you know, hoarding, stockpiling toilet paper is the right idea. And little known secret about me, or I guess it's not gonna be a secret now, I have IBS. Sounds gross, it is gross. It sucks, it's painful, but it's a lot of toilet paper usage and a lot of toilet time. Best way to cut down your toilet time is a bidet. We bought one, it's downstairs in our downstairs room. We liked it so much, we went and bought another one. But I ran into a couple things I didn't like about the install that were in the install papers that might help you out. So this is what this video is for. I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up if you get side, guys decide to buy it. Okay, check it out. All right, so once you get the box, you obviously gotta open it. Don't cut yourself for this. That would suck. Going to a hospital during a pandemic it is bad. So, open the box, comes with a few contents, all right? You have three different packages. Throw the box to the side. Looks like you have your owner's manual, your actual bidet unit, and then your pipe fittings. So also inside there, if you don't have tools, they come with them. I don't recommend them. They don't have much of a grip. Thank God I have tools. Um, but if it works out for you, fine. If it doesn't, I would grab yourself a pair of pliers, uh, you know, something that'll help you get parts off, okay? Also it comes with your fitting, so your two-way fitting, and your actual pipe thing from the wall. And excuse me, I'm not the most technical person, so you get my drift. And then you get your actual bidet unit. If I can get this guy out. I got to use scissors that I have that are sitting here, but I like to do things the hard way. So I messed up the last time. All right, so you got your bidet unit. Comes with two different options. You have your pressure, you have your wash, and nozzle cleaning. So, you know, you don't have funky stuff on your nozzle, all right? Also, Inside this guy, that's where the spray comes out. You'll see it comes from this mechanism. We always want to keep this closed, but it comes right, shoots right out at your area that you would need. Okay, and that's what you have. And then we'll get right to the install in a second. So our first step, as you see, I took the lid to the tank off of the toilet. We need to get this water out of here. So all you're gonna do, flush this bad boy, and then head right over to the main water supply and turn that off. Make sure you do it tightly. Don't make the mistake that I did, uh, where I left it where it wasn't so tight when I took the pipe fitting off, water started coming out. So make sure that's tight. We still got a little bit of water left in here. Let's flush the rest into the toilet bowl. Make sure that we don't hear any gun, any <laughs> extra coming out. And then we're good to go, all right? All right, so now what we need to do is we need to remove the toilet seat cover. Now what I noticed once I opened these flaps, in between takes, this toilet seat cover is not the same as my downstairs one. The downstairs one had bolts that had a flathead screwdriver that you use and untighten it. This one looks like you're gonna be required to get an Allen key. So, Allen key or an Allen wrench, depending on who you talk to, looks like so. You may need to get yourself a set before finally installing this, but I would check your toilet seat cover first, and whether it's a flathead screwdriver or an Allen key. And I'll show at the end of the video what my downstairs one looks like so you have that idea of what gets screwed in. But we need to remove these like so.
And I wanna show you guys every little thing that wrong that can go wrong that I'm going through. My toilet downstairs did not have these funky little rubber pieces that were attached to the screw. They're kind of gross. Um, so whenever I place this toilet, we just bought this house. Definitely want to get a toilet that just has a nut at the end of the screw. But the problem I was going into with some of these is that you have to grip the bottom with some pliers or a non-penetrable grabber tool. Grab the end of that and then take your Allen key and unloosen it. Uh, what I noticed is that the rubber piece, it wouldn't grab on and it would just circle with the screw. So just grab the end of that underneath the toilet and then unscrew with the Allen wrench. All right, so I got those nasty little things off. Now all you have to do is take off the toilet seat cover. Should come off very easily. It does not attached to anything. Place that somewhere on its side. And now we're getting to the fun part. All right, so now we're in the back of the toilet and there's a bolt. Before I start doing that, check this out. It's a little bolt. Yours might be different, might be plastic. If it's plastic, you're supposed to hand twist that off. But this one, I have to use uh, some channel locks to be able to get this off, all right? So I'm gonna start taking that off, but beware, and you should also have a bucket and maybe even a towel because you might spill a little bit of water that didn't drain out from the toilet. All right, so I'll start doing that now. All right, so almost set here, and I'm looking inside of our toilet bowl. It looks like this thing was manufactured in 05, so we're gonna need a new toilet, but regardless. Take that off, got a little water, but not too bad, not enough to flood our floors, but it got a little bit of water in there. But you should be looking at this. This is how it should look, disconnected from the tank. Now we're here. Wasn't this hot earlier. Anyway, now you need your adapter. Shouldn't have a little plastic piece, you can just peel that right off of each side, okay? And how you'll know you'll have your top, your top piece is you'll see a little gasket there that's gonna connect at the bottom of the toilet. So you're gonna take this piece, connect it right to the bottom of the toilet. It spins, so you should be able to tighten it that way. All right. Now I wanna have it connected this way. Boom, that little piece right there facing outward. So that way we can connect our wire or our connection directly to the bidet. So we'll tighten that. So what you might notice from the instructions is that they want you to put the bidet on first. The reason why I go against that, I tried that downstairs in my downstairs bathroom. And when I got under here, I had no room whatsoever. There's no wrong way of doing it, whether it's first connecting or putting the bidet on first. But me personally, if you've got a little small little cubby of a bathroom like this, I would just do your connections first. So first thing we're gonna do is connect this guy to our water supply, our little extender. Comes with this easy tool so that when you need to tighten it, it'll be a seamless process. So you push that in there and you get to tighten it. Make sure it's really tight because you don't want to come in your bathroom and see water everywhere. Okay, so that's tightened. Now you got your bottom piece from your water from your wall, your fresh water coming from the pipes we're gonna put that right at the bottom of the adapter. Should tighten all the way. If you got your channel locks, I recommend taking that just to get one glass pull. Last house we had a toilet flood, it cost us thousands of dollars to get that right there. Wasn't anything I did, it just happened to be faulty wiring or faulty pipes, bad toilet, whatever it was, and it just, bad luck for us. Take my channel locks, in there, little elbow grease, we're good. Now can't even finger turn it, it's all the way in there. All right, so now is the fun part, the bidets, we are nearing our last step. This part is way easier if you have two people, so if you have a partner in crime, I highly recommend to do that. Where we're gonna align the bidets holes with the holes that are pre-drilled in your toilet. Make sure that these lines are set up if you're packaging your Amazon guys, throwing your package around, these might come, across, or come apart. There's a little gasket on the inside, you just pop it out. Or if it's not inside, you just pop it in. Align those holes with the pre-drilled holes on the bidet. And then what you're gonna do is line your old toilet seat, or toilet, whatever this is, toilet seat, yeah. Um, with the bidet holes, 
And then you're gonna slide your screws, whichever ones you do have, right back in the holes, and get back to putting your screws into the toilet seat. But it should line up with the bidet and the toilet seat cover, all right? So we're at our, one of our last steps. We need to attach the hose to the bidet so that it can feed the pipe water from your house to the bidet. Okay. Just keep doing that. Don't tighten it to the point where you're gonna break your arm off, but we still want it tight in there so we're not getting any water leakage. So we don't have any more turns. Careful with your hose, very good. Slide that guy back here so we don't see that slight for sore eyes. And now we turn our water on. If you start to get any water coming out the hoses, you might have gone in crooked. Just uh, detach your hose and then reapply it back in. If you get any water that spritz out of here, just make sure you went in there at a straight angle. No weird angles or anything. And then you also wanna check all of your connections. Make sure there's no water leaking, nothing coming out of your pipes. You don't want any water damage that'll cost you a bunch of money that you don't wanna spend. All right, well, we'll do one last test. Oh, and just to let y'all know, that little weird rubber thing, it broke. So I gotta go to Home Depot to buy a bolt, which should be on here instead of this. So, Never make, make sure that you're sitting on your bidet whenever you use it. Water pressure is really high and I'll show you exactly what that looks like. Lots of water. So it has its self cleaner, does whatever it needs to do. I got a little water on the floor, but it's okay. I'm gonna clean that up. But yeah, your bidet should be all set. Make sure your toilet seat's lined up. Again, I gotta go buy another part because that thing snapped off. However, everything's all good. You got. Your nozzle, make sure that that's always closed. That way you're gonna get your bidet cleaning, whatever it needs to clean, and you're good to go. With that being said, I gotta go take this from here. I'm gonna hold it here, hopefully it doesn't spray my wife. <laughs> <laughs> and just so you see, and it got a little stripped by the previous owner, so I'm probably gonna replace this too. But, it's a flathead, and you turn it how you would turn it.